Hey guys, this is Uncle Thor, and I'm going to give you my one year review on my Eastwood QST 3060 YS Pro Compressor. This thing has been absolutely awesome. Um, at one year, the switch went bad. Well, every, every piston driven compressor that I've had has had this same problem, whether it be Ingersoll Rand, whether it be a cheap Cobalt. The switch, the, the new ones just suck. Outside of the switch, this thing has been absolutely amazing. I've been running it, like I said, I've been running it for a year. Um, underneath this cover, it's really cool. I got screws out of it, so I'll take it off and I will proceed to show you what's up with this thing. So this right here, this is your scroll. This is what's gonna compress your air right here. Your motor, oil cooler, oil reservoir, here's the oil filter. And then this unit here is your moisture separator. So this is another really cool feature about this compressor is that with the built-in moisture separator, this puts out a lot drier air than any of your piston compressors. And that has been like just primo i have loved that and i'm excited about it i'm actually going to be doing some painting with this compressor soon so if you uh follow me you'll be able to see that as well all right but overall like you look at this unit in comparison to a piston unit and you're getting way more bang for your buck this is a lot more solid unit heavier motor this is way cooler than a, a traditional piston powered pump head especially with how compact it is. Look how compact the whole size of the compressor is compared to like 60 or an 80 gallon too. Um, I love it. It comes around on just awesome little casters so you can reel it away. Like say I just unplug this from the wall, my feed line off that I should upgrade to a bigger size. I'm still, I'm just running three eighths hose right now, which has served me okay, but I really should upgrade to a half or a three quarter hose going into my regulator after a year the only issue i've had is this i've serviced this one time i'm getting ready to service it again just because i'm a little bit anal um look how clean it is too like it's got some dust but this is a fab shop like i haven't really tore the case off other than to uh service it once which is as easy as Letting the oil out of this hose here, which I zip tied back up like it was from the factory. Putting new oil in here, swapping out the oil filter and swapping out the, the moisture filter. That's super easy. Dude, this is like, I can't say anything bad about this unit yet. And I'm not even gonna complain about the switch. Air filters are super easy. They come out. I've replaced this once in a shot. Like I said, I do a lot of grinding, so it's dusty. I do some auto body in here too, so it gets dusty. And you know, it's just been super awesome. So that's the switch I, I like to go with. This is uh, pump trial D squared switches, kind of more old school. This one happens to be a single port. So I do got to add a, four-way T in there to get it to work but uh, we'll go ahead get this replaced we'll fire it up and I'll let you see how quiet this thing is still after a year's worth of use come up something like that might be a little bit screwy but Cool. Let's put her back home, hook her up to the system, and see uh, see how quiet she is. Yeah, this is how amazingly quiet this thing is. Like, you know, I'm standing. I am standing right next to this compressor, and I can't hear much. You know, like you can have a comfortable conversation standing right next to this compressor while it is running. Like you can hear me through the mic right next to the compressor while it is running. 
in like in this shop space where I'm at, that was really, really important because I don't have anywhere that I can put an air compressor outside. Like my heater is basically as loud as my air compressor now. So I chose this air compressor because it was quiet. Now that I've owned it, I would say there's absolutely no downsides to this compressor. There is nothing better about a piston driven compressor than this, right? Like. I've had really bad luck with piston driven compressors. They've always given me a lot of problems. They don't put out that much air. They wear out super fast. All they are is a problem. Oh, hey, look, the Dodson 620 cap in this project. But overall, dude, everything is better about the Eastwood QST 3060 compressor. I highly recommend it. And I believe you should pick you one up for your shop. You'll be very, very happy with it. Got a little space this thing holds up too. Like this is awesome. So let me get the mic here around the right way. Definitely recommend it. If you like my tool review, if you like my compressor review, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below with any questions you got. Ask me about anything you want to know that I'm doing. Um, of course, that Terry's Dotson cab here. That's gonna be a really cool project. Follow me if you're into doing sheet metal work, machining, fabrication, welding, off-road stuff, custom car stuff, all that kind of cool stuff. That's what I do. Thank you. See you guys next time.